Hi, we are here at Education 2.0 Conference with our honoree. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Sure, I'm Dr. Katherine Burr. I'm the managing partner of Academic Solutions Group. Amazing, welcome. So um, you are at the Education 2.0 Conference, USA honoree. So how did it feel to receive recognition for your accomplishments, doctor? You know what, it's so interesting. In education, we don't take the time to thank teachers and just thank them for the work that they do. Um, and a lot of times educators will tell you they don't, they don't need it, but you know what, it really feels good. It really feels great when um, you've worked your entire life to create equitable learning spaces for young people and people recognize that. So yeah, it feels really wonderful. Absolutely. Now, how long have you been in the field? Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, well, I look like I'm 21, but I've been. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. I've been teaching over 30 years. So, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. And you taught, thought, like, what have you, like, what's I the started field? my teaching career uh, working with middle school uh, students. I taught PE and English. Uh, and then I became a middle school administrator, uh, oh. middle school assistant principal, principal. And then I spent the last 18 and a half years at the Tiger Woods Foundation as their vice president of education. And now started my own company earlier this year. Wow. Yeah, fun. A little bit of everything. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh. Okay. So what advice would you give someone that's trying to follow your footsteps? Take, take every opportunity. You know, I think that's... Um, I think that's the biggest thing is that I, I really have had a wonderful career. I love teaching. I had great kids, great families I worked with. I loved being a principal, um, working with staff and, and teachers and shaping school communities. Um, and I really liked the opportunity to be you know, innovative and creative and kind of entrepreneurial. And, and I think um, you just have to put yourself out there. Um, there's no such thing as failure, right? You just yeah. have to put yourself out there and try anything. So. If somebody's interested in following this path, it's like just just be ready and and be open and you know accept accept the pathway that's put it put in front of you. That is awesome. Yeah. Now, who is like uh, who's your biggest motivator? Like, if you think back, oh boy, um, I think my parents for sure. Yeah. My biggest motivators. Uh, they supported me, uh, you know, my entire life. Let me be me, and uh, I really. Um, you know, kind of lived my entire life to make sure I made them proud. And, and uh, yeah, I love them to death. That is awesome. That's so sweet. <laughs> awesome. So let's see, how has your learning experience and networking experience been so far here at Education 2.0 Conference? Uh, the networking opportunity here is really unique because you get to meet like-minded educators, but it's not just educators. And I think that's what makes this conference super valuable is that you have the opportunity to um, network with people outside of the industry. Yeah. And in an education, again, it's not something that we do very well. We don't kind of go outside the box and try to figure out how can we make connections. And I think that's something that's extremely necessary in today's society. If we're gonna to try to help young people pursue their passions and dreams, then we need to create the opportunities by knowing what exists out there. So um, being able to drop into some of the other sessions and meet um, uh, folks from other industries has been just, you know, priceless. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. So diversity aspect, you met a lot of new, you know, new colleagues. Are you planning to do future projects with them maybe? You know what, that would be it's so funny that you, you asked that in the session we just we just had. I was thinking the same thing. It's like, it would be such a waste to come to a conference like this and not take something away. Just don't, you don't show up to conferences just to learn. I mean, you really, uh, that's a disservice to you and to the conference. The whole idea is you should take something back away from it and make better. And so, yeah, absolutely. Trying to find ways to make connections, uh, whether it's within education or outside of education in the field of organizational leadership. That's something that we do a lot with, uh, with my company at Academic Solutions Group. Um, we really are trying to help people build capacity in their leadership so that they build really great teams uh, for whatever their uh, organization uh, and business is about. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. So let me just ask you this. Um, for you, you know, with the entrepreneur spirit coming from the education background and then instilling that into your career, what would you say were some of the habits that helped you create your success? Oh, gosh. Um, 
I think some of the habits that have helped me be successful are really just being persistent and kind of being a lifelong learner, you know, really um, just because it's not my area of expertise or comfort no. doesn't mean that I can't learn about it and that yeah. I can't like pick up and, and, and have something, have value to add. So I, I have the chance to be a professor as well. And um, I teach uh, adults uh, who are in a doctoral program who are in industries like uh, medicine or, or in uh, healthcare in general or in the tech sector or whatever it might be. And I think, you know, there's common ground for all of us to learn um, and to work together. So I think those are things that just have to really build those habits where you're not deterred by anything, right? That you can, <laughs> you can own anything if you want to bad enough. I love that. Thank you for sharing that. Uh -huh. Wow. So if you could give advice to like, you know, the young kids out there or, you know, young entrepreneurs, uh, what would you tell them? Like, yeah, for... to be an entrepreneur? Uh, well, I think advice for entrepreneurs are, um, again, kind of stay open, um, look for um, the unlikely partnerships, things that you wouldn't think would go together. I mean, I think that's where the great entrepreneurs come from is they make stuff come out of basically magic, right? Yeah. They don't seem like they should go together. And, and I think that's like, that's the entrepreneurial spirit. It's like, look for things that don't seem like they go together and look for that common ground. And then once you have it, it's like, how do you make better? I mean, that's, you know, that's really the, the magic of having entrepreneurial vision is, is being able to take something um, and make it functional and useful for the world. That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> is there anything else that you want to share with us that, you know, have impacted today, maybe impacted yesterday that you learned here at mm -hmm. Education Conference 2.0? No, I, I just really value the opportunity to be here and uh, to meet new people and, and learn about their work and what they're trying to do. And, and really, I think, just trying to make connections, you know. So yeah. thank you so much to everybody at Education 2.0. It's been uh, an honor and a privilege to be here today. Oh, well, thank you. We're glad to have you here. Now, are you going to be coming next year with more friends? <laughs> I, yeah, I hope so. I brought two of my business partners uh, with me this year. And uh, yeah, I think we were really just trying to see what the conference would be like. And yeah. it's uh, living up to billing. So it's, I would encourage people to come. Absolutely. Well, we're so happy to have you here and we appreciate yeah. your time. Of course. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course.